What's up guys? So we're back with the game, but not any game. It's an RPG Maker game named Craig. Yeah, I've, um, I've kind of been wanting to get back into playing more RPG Maker games just because I haven't really been playing that many lately and it kind of makes me sad because they're pretty fun and, and whatnot. But yeah, so we, so we give it a little try and so don't really know much about this game other than that it is relatively short and that you have to examine a lot of things. So we're going to do both of those things. And I thought we'd just do it in one episode, because it's going to be kind of short. So we're going to try this out. I tried playing this, uh, like, for a few seconds, and it was glitching out. But I figured out you can use the mouse to play it, and that made it a bit better. So we're going to try that out. Start. Another beautiful day. Craig the Potion Maker is ready to face it head-on from the comfort of his potion shop. You have yeah, right here. It's, whoa, what's happening? The door won't open. Door to door unlatches. There appears to be something barricading it from the other side. This is terrible. What is Craig to do if he can't get out of his house? And we are Craig. Okay, so. got to just try to examine a lot of things. And that's what I've been kind of been told on how to play this game. So, question mark. I didn't do anything. Okay. Yeah. Craig's desk. There's notes on potion making. Clear, cl cleanly organized on it in the drawer below. So, greetings. Well, it's true that Craig greets his work every day with a smile. That doesn't seem so appropriate right now. I mean, fair enough. Craig gives the drawer a pull, but it seems to be stuck. <gasps> oh no! See, Craig takes it. Craig decides to snatch up a prototype recipe he was working on for his next potion. We got the recipe top half. <laughs> top half. There is the bottom half. I thought Craig must have gotten frustrated with the recipe and tore it up. If only he knew how essential it would be ultimately become. Oh no. Craig's bed. It's much larger than he is. Oh, that's good. You can get a lot of wiggle room and stuff. It's too early in the morning to create sleep. <laughs> yeah. Craig pulled back the covers. He wasn't sure when he could sleep, but there isn't anything but his sheets. <gasps> oh no. Using while well, sleeping away his problems would be nice. Craig has a shop to run that he needs to get to. So I guess we're not technically in his shop, we're more of like in his house, like trying to get to his shop. That's what it seems like. Craig closet. It's so big it could practically be considered a walk-in closet. Get it? Cause you could you could like walk you could walk it walk in it. <laughs> Craig considers it but what would be doing? Wait, what? What would he do if somebody actually answered back? <gasps> oh no. He'd probably get pretty spookered. He pulled upon the closet. Inside were dozens of cloaks identical to the one he's wearing now. Craig is very fashion forward. I say. Craig doesn't need another cloak from inside the closet. What? It would be useful, but then he'd have to ruin a perfectly good cloak. Craig values his positions too much. Far too much. Okay, what are we doing? Let's see. It's a trash can. Oh, okay. That's straightforward. I know. I don't want. Okay. Greet. Craig says hello to the trash can. There are. Oh, they are one in the same. It's pretty deep, yo. I don't know if I could really get behind that, though. Craig shows the trash can out of the frustration. He sort of regrets hurting his feelings now. No, not the trash can. Craig searches the trash can for any useful contents. As if on cue, he pulls out a piece of something he was working on earlier. <gasps> Bottom half. Okay, so can we... Can we... Can we... Can we let's see. Oh, shoot. I don't think we can... Yes, item. Oh. Oh. Right. What is it? One part water, two parts question mark acid, one part lies. It's D. Okay. What have Craig's new anticipation? Wait. Right. Clockwise. Add blank food powder until opaque. Simmer eight minutes. That's not too bad. Say so, Craig's stove. This being his home, though, it seems more used use cooking food than cooking potions. Interesting. Some people whisper words, kind words, to their cooking to help it taste better. Craig is not one of those people. He could be, though, if he tried, tried hard enough. He pulls open the firebox. Finding it isn't lit, he decides to resolve this. Resolve what? He's like, oh, I don't want to burn anything. That would not be best. It's Craig's kitchen cupboard. He stores food in here. Okay. I mean, that's what most people do with the cupboard, so I can't really say that's out of the ordinary. Nah. What? No. Craig opens the cabinet. He realized he was supposed to go shopping today. All that in there is lime. 
I'm gonna take that lime. Yes. Yeah. I like that lime. It's okay. table. Well, there's a place that had some fake flowers on it. Okay. Can I greet the flowers? Only Craig had a house guest to greet. If only. He has a flower, so you can greet the greet the, the pants off those flowers. Craig gives the table a little push, but the action doesn't serve much purpose. Let's see that. Craig snatches up the place left from the table. Incredibly, there was another one right underneath me. Okay. Whatever you say, Craig. What is this? Creates a potion making supplies that wouldn't fit in his shop storage. Craig doesn't remember what's in them. Oh, can I, can I open them to see what's in them? Can I greet them? Hello, what's in there? He says. Craig doesn't want anything to greet him back. He swears he doesn't take those kind of potions. I mean, I don't know if I believe him. Craig seems like a pretty, pretty weird guy. Craig tries to push the crate somewhere else, but they're quite heavy. He wonders how he got them in here in the first place. I probably know. Wink, wink. Craig pries open the small crate. There are a few potion bottles inside, ready to be filled. Okay, okay, I got the... So I'm guessing... I'm not really sure what the tablecloth is going to do, but I'm guessing we're going to have to make some potions here, and just a few. But first, we need to collect the things from the potions. Craig's favorite plant. He isn't sure what kind of plant it is, but he thinks it's very pretty. I mean, he wouldn't be completely wrong. Craig con converses with the plant. It seems happy. Oh. That's good. Craig doesn't want to knock over his favorite plant, and what if the vase broke? Oh no! That wouldn't be good. Craig took a small clump of the plant's roots, even though he doesn't know the plant's identity. He hopes it will be useful. Plant roots. Wait a minute. Pretty sure it said something about that. Yeah, root powder. But yeah, right? Yeah. So we need water, we need acid. Oh, I guess it's one part lye. I guess that's lime. And then I'm gonna stir counterclockwise and add root powder. Okay, so we got we got the lime. We got the bottle for the water. And then we have the lime, so we just need acid. I'm sure we're gonna find acid, but I'm sure we'll find it somewhere. And this is art. You will hear a buzzer when you hear the buzzer. Craig will stare at the art. Craig now fits in the figure. <laughs> okay. Okay, Craig. There isn't anyone in the art for Craig to greet. Uh, that's great. Craig tries to pull the painting off the wall, but the fixture is stuck. No, not that. Uh, take. The art's fixture is stuck. Craig can't get off the wall with his bare hands. Maybe that's a hint. See, I don't know what that was a question mark for you. Does that mean you can like, use an item? I don't think so. Let's see. Craig's sink. It's kind of clean. The water is off. Oh, okay. <gasps> and we gotta turn the water on. We get some flippin' water in this thing. Craig comes a little tune for the sink. It echoes slightly, but only slightly. We're full deposit. The water is now on. Oh, that's good. Uh, use, use empty bottle. Then you have to sink carefully before filling it with water. Okay, the bottle is now partially filled. <gasps> good. Toilet. What are you gonna say? Toilet. Craig's toilet. The plumbing is kind of old. That's not very good. You should get that. You should get that fixed, Craig. You only deserve the best. Craig doesn't need to bow to the porcelain pots right now, but maybe later. Not right now. Craig flushes the toilet and makes an unpleasant noise and falls back up with strange looking. What is this? Oh, oil of vitriol. How did this get in here? Oh, Craig. Feel bad for him, man. To find the oil of vitriol in there, Craig is terrified of having to use toilet for anything ever again. Oh, <laughs> uh, good. Craig's bathtub. The sides are so high that Craig needs a step ladder to get into it. There is a bar of soap in the edge. Okay. Can I greet the soap? Craig's voice echoes off the sides of the tub. He is entertained. He is entertained. Good. Craig isn't shocked enough to move him by himself. I mean, I'm sure if he, if he lifts some weights, he'd be able to get there. Craig snatches up the soap from the edge of the tub. Okay. So. Uh, um... Hmm, I can't really mix anything. Use. Uh, what if we use... Wait, let's... let's wait. Wait, let, me, let me look at my thing. The game's glitching randomly, I'm not really sure why, I think that's just my, my computer is kind of dumb, but... Um, let's see. 
power water, two parts acid. Okay. One part water, two parts the acid, which I'm guessing is the oil, the lime, and we stir it. So I think we gotta put the water on here. I think so. Well, water. Ingredients need to be added first. Oh, wait, how do I add them? Is there a way to add them? Doesn't seem like I can add them anyway. <gasps> wait. Wait. No. What? Sorry, what do I... Yeah, let's check out. I don't think we checked out the door yet. Look. Here's front door. It appears to be barricaded from the other side. <gasps> oh no. Freak. Okay, time to call out for help. Ah, help me, I'm Craig. But nobody came. Craig can feel the punk that trapped him in here laughing somewhere else. Not good. Push. Attempts to break down the door using his manly physique. Ah! Craig just sure he doesn't have any manly physique. He is now in tremendous pain. That's not good, Craig. I don't know what to use, like placemat. There's no one, but it got stuck. Maybe that won't work out. So, placemat won't work. I'm guessing soap. That wouldn't work out. Damn it. Dude, I really am not too sure. You can't burn it. I can burn what I feel like. Come on, man. He's already. He's not ready to tie. Um. Base map. Well, I would certainly get rid of them all. It doesn't seem quite productive. I guess so. Where else? So, wait, do I have two place maps? No, I only have one. Damn it. He gives a drawer pull. Craig finds. <gasps> House key! <gasps> Good. Okay, so that's what it means. So, I gotta find. Wait. Save. Craig gives the drawer pull, but it seems to be stuck. So maybe. <gasps> Wait! Oh shoot! We can probably mix the things up, I think. Let's see. Pull. Craig pulled across again, the water is now off. Okay. Oh, okay, so I have to turn it on. Okay, so let's see. Maybe I can mix the stuff in here. I'm sorry, but the floor cannot be cleansed! Okay. So I gotta clean something, I guess. So this, will that really help? I don't know, dude. I'm flipping asking you these questions, man. Uh, oh, I do. I did get a second place, Matt. So, Craig decided to wash his hands, though he is not close to accomplishing his goal. His hands are much cleaner! <gasps> Good. I'd say. Let's call it the soap. Please place that. Already clean. Okay. There's really just gonna be trial and error, honestly. Uh, all of control. While dumping the acid down the drain might make him feel better, Craig thinks it might come in handy, and we'd rather hang on to it for now. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's. Let me see. Hmm, use. Oh shit, we can use stuff on here? Okay, let's see. Great puts on. <gasps> okay, here we go. Okay, that took much longer than I was hoping for. Okay, lime. Lime be used for potion. Let's see. Um, plant roots. Let's see. So we got plant roots, the lime, we need soap. And. bottle of water. So we're going to assemble all the potion ingredients he's collected. He carefully stirs it clockwise, adding two until it turns opaque. Hey, I read that. He has made the uncooked potion. <gasps> I go cook it. Oh no. This is going to be spooky. Excuse me. I want to use some sort of an uncooked potion, bro. Craig placed the uncooked potion on the stove and waits for it to cook. He waits patiently for eight minutes while the potion cooks. Craig got the melting potion. <gasps> Time for Craig to try out the potion on the door. He hopes it will work as expected, for the most part, at least. I hope too, bro. Really hope this works out for you, man. 
and use that melted potion. I record the contents of the melted potion at the door. It splashed against the wood and began to sizzle. The potion continues sizzling, beginning to spread about the wood as it's foaming. The door bursts into flames. It, it eats through the door, whatever was in front of the door, destroying any evidence of what it was or who did it. Amazingly, the fire dies out when the door is consumed and didn't touch the floor or cracks the deal. Deck. 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 Neo. Craig is now free to leave, though he no longer has a door. <laughs> okay, well, let's get the get the clip out of here, bro. Craig finally made it out of the house. Now just to get this push himself so he can get on his way. Hey chicken man. <gasps> it's a it's a king pea. Queen Queen pea. Queen pea? Something like that. Craig says hello to the Queen Gee. It squawks back. That's very cute. Push. I mean, but Craig doesn't quite think that's a good idea. Can I take it? <gasps> There's Richard's cookies. Craig can't just take one, especially because Richard's right there. <gasps> Richard, can I take one? Hello, Richard. It's Richard, the local uh, Kingy former. He actually prefers to be called Dick. <laughs> but everyone's too polite, so he just goes by Richard. <laughs> okay. Hey, yeah, Craig. The perpetrator. What? Someone barricaded you inside your house? No, I haven't seen anyone come by here all day. What? How could you not? Well, they say the perpetrator always pretends to see the crime. You could try just waiting him out if you hurry him for now. Well, what are you doing? Tending to the kingies, as always. What are you doing, Craig? Eh. <laughs> what about your dog? What about Henrietta? She's not letting you past. Yeah, she gets territorial when she sleeps. If I can do about that, sorry, but maybe if this demo was longer, you could get into a town. Uh, maybe. These are my living. They're sea chickens. Huh? What do I have them? When we live nowhere near the sea? You just answered your own question. What? No, I didn't. I don't think this guy knows what he's on about. Oh, yeah. Carlson got that shipment in today, but he isn't in town to move it all. Tough luck. Tough luck. I still don't know what those question marks do. Bucket of water. The water is kind of grimy and old. That's a kingy's pool. They like to flap around in there when it's hot. Craig wonders how the kingies can even fit this. Who knows, man? Maybe they just, like, become one with it. Craig gloves a few words into the water. Richard casts a judgmental stare. <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't knock over my kingy's pool. I mean, I might. Don't even think about it, buddy. Buddy. But, yeah, let's see. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> I don't like it. There's a video over here. Well, well, well. That didn't answer anything. What is it? Craig calls down the well. I will get it. Well, well, well. Haha. <laughs> I get it now. Yeah, whatever. You were in this round, Quag. 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 You win this round, Quag. It pulls up the rope, but the bucket appears to be missing from the end. Ah. Because <gasps> it's that thing, I bet. No, I think that's it, actually. I don't think you can see my mouse, actually. I'm not pointing at stuff. I'm trying to click on this. There we go. Use. Oh, I don't have a bucket. Maybe the place map? Hmm. That, that, I guess that's just the time it's in now. Uh, look. Custom shipment. Oh, shit. I didn't read it. There's all kinds of junk in here. All there is. Are these even related to his store? Wait, is a store? Craig tries to call it with the boxes. Anyone who might be on the street beyond. He heard someone call back, but it wasn't a friendly tone. Oh, that's not good. It's very too much to try to push out of the way. Maybe we can take it. <gasps> so as a jump. Besides, Carlson would probably notice things from us if we got back. Dang, I can see a bucket though. Kind of want that bucket. Some bulletin board. There's flyers, wanted posters, and some notices. Some of them have been vandalized with smiley faces. Craig doesn't mind this. I mean, as long as it's smiley face, it's not too bad. Could be worse. The voice of the news is louder than Craig's. Wait, there's the news? Craig pulled off one of the flyers for Carlson's shop. It made him feel better. Craig snatched the annoying flyer. What? Isn't that annoying? Oh. I can use something on here? Craig pinned a placement for the board to work. Okay. Can I pull another one on there? Okay, I guess I can just do that like infinitely. Craig has reached the shop, now I can just open the door and... Open the door and... Craig doesn't have the key on his shop. Where is his key? How is he supposed to get into his shop now? 
We either have to find a key or some other way inside. I have a key. Oh, it's a house key. It's a character house, not a shop. Dang. Sound of the window reads potion hunt. Craig had it made special. I would hope so. Craig is proud of his sign, but not that proud. <laughs> not that proud. Not <laughs> Craig. Craig would prefer not to break his window. He already supports the economy in his own way. Uh, I don't like it. Sign was too difficult to put in the first time. Craig doesn't want to take it down. That's understandable. I can I can dig it. This Carlson shop. There's a sign on the door that reads, Out of town, leave shipment by stairs. But he's not out of town, he's right there. The heck? Craig calls up to see if anyone's inside, knowing the cheater crossed and he could be taking it out there, pretending to be right. Or not. There's no response. Wait, isn't that Carlton? Is it someone else? I don't know. Craig is the door knocked. Nobody answers. Dang. Uh, I don't think they can use anything. It's not a car student store. Okay, um. I'm not too sure, honestly. Uh, let's see. I guess we still can't think of this. Don't even think of anybody. Hmm. Let's see. Dang, no boy. Uh, I think we examine. Oh, wait, no, we already this. It's a broken wheel. Craig isn't sure if Carlson can order this or if it's just here. A piece of pulse of wheel to an actual spec in a strange shape. It looks like it could work as some kind of tool. Can't take it? Or can I greet it? Nah, whatever, man. Whatever. Maybe broken, but it still rolls. Okay, let me take it. Wait, okay, what? No. Hmm. Yeah, I can only use stuff. What can I use on it? Only black? Hmm. Wait, there's a thing over here. Can I can I investigate this? I can't investigate that, right? That's just a well. I don't care about a well. You can't make me. Oh, okay. I think I think I found out what to do. Okay. <laughs> I've just been running around for like the last five minutes. Okay, so I think we need this guy's stick. Give me as many as you can carry. Let me let me take that stick, bro. Dang. Okay. I think we just have to grab all. I, I used up like a lot of my flakes mats because you can just put them on the thing up there. I think we just need a lot of them. So let's let's take as many flakes mats as we can. Okay. Here we go. Exit. Now, you gonna give me that stick? No, it's the wrong way. Yes! Okay, so I got the stick and slot on one end, so you can use it to wedge things. <gasps> wedge! Okay, well, I think there are a few things we can do. So first of all, we go back in here. I think this is where the question marks come in handy. Yes, wedge! Can I use a stick to wedge the stick drawer open? Oh, suck drawer. I was. I stored the key. This is remarkably unhelpful. He still locks the door inside the shop. But Craig, we're making progress. Wedge. Craig uses a stick to wedge the painting off the wall. The painting proceeded to fall off the wall and crash at Craig's feet. All that remains intact was the hanging picture. Little piece. Okay. I think that was it. I think that was all of the question mark bits. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that was all of them. Okay. So. We got. So let's see if we can use that here now. Little piece. Little piece into the wheels piece back like a lever, and the piece bent at the tip. It made a lock pick. Okay, so can we use that on this door? Let's see. Lock pick. Craig would love that, but he's good at lock picks, I said. Okay. Um. Oh, wait, can we. <gasps> We use this to open our door. Uh, lock it. Craig carefully maneuvers the lock to lock. It takes a few minutes worth of jiggling, but eventually the lock clicks open. Craig can finally get to a shop and start the day. <gasps> Craig. Oh. Wait, that's the end? Oh. <laughs> I didn't think that was the end. What about the what about the dog? And then the the pail. I thought there'd be more, but I guess that was it. Okay, but uh <laughs> So that was Craig. 
Um, I, I don't know, I was kind of expecting more of an ending, but I guess you were just trying to get to your shop and we did that. So, yeah. It was pretty fun. I thought it was pretty well written, but, um, yeah, it took much longer than I thought it was. <laughs> but, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little, uh, this little doodad of a video. And sorry, again, I've been being really quiet. It's, like, 3 a.m., and for some reason I thought this was, like, pinnacle time to start recording. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you didn't, that kind of sucks, but, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.